right, so I've built these odd historic contraptions at the recommendation of a commenter and subscriber, I think, a viewer anyways. He said, hey, if you want to walk on really soft mud, something commonly done in Great Britain is to build these mud walking shoes known as patents or splatchers, which are actually slightly different variations of the same thing. But basically, it's 12 by 12 planks that you strap onto your feet with simple binding. And they're really meant to be used with rubber boots or wellies or whatever you want to say. But for me, I'm not trying to walk over huge swaths of mud flats. What, I, what my interest is, is sometimes, as on this island where I landed, the water and the depth leading up to the island is often very shallow and very flat. Once it does dry out, it's still not really dry. You may have 30, 40, 60 feet of soft mud before you actually get to dry land. So I just wanted something that would allow me to walk over short distances of mud and get the boat beached and tied up and go about my exploration. So I built these things kind of in a hurry. I don't know how good they're gonna be. I just tried to stick to pretty much the plain design that I've seen on the internet. I'm gonna be using them just with my normal rubberized moccasins that are called flofers. And I think for this to actually work for my purposes, I need to design my own binding that's webbing with some kind of buckles that I can slip on and cinch down quickly. But I'm just gonna give these a shot just because it could be a fun experiment and see if I'm on the right track with this. So they're definitely working to a degree, but the binding needs to be a lot tighter for sure. My foot's sliding around a lot, but as I said, they're supposed to be used with rubber boots, not with moccasins. And uh, it's probably gonna be, using the traditional binding, it's probably gonna be uncomfortable even with boots. So you can imagine it's really uncomfortable on my bare ankles. Uh, but like I said, for my purposes, I think I might really be on to something if I can come up with more of a modern webbing style binding with some buckles that can be adjusted quickly. I don't think I can tolerate too much of this binding on my bare ankles, but it's definitely working. Now where I was walking right there is kind of a mixture of sand and mud, so I'm going to try and get down here in some real squishy mud and see what happens. Oh yeah, here we go. They are sinking in a little bit, but not bad. Ooh, there's the bad mud. <laughs> and so the difference between patents and splatchers, from what I've read, patents you adjust so that your toe hangs off the front. And you can see that my bindings loosened up way too much. It's way my foot's slipping all around. But your toe hangs off the front to help you break the suction when it sucks into the mud. Now they are starting to get a little caked up, but it's absolutely working. This is, this is the bad mud right here. My foot would just be sinking in and getting stuck in normal shoes or plain boots. Oh yeah, that's getting bad right there.
this concept definitely has potential for me but just need some different binding and I think these might just be a little bit too wide for me it's kind of difficult to walk but I was curious whether they would be functional in two or three inches of water and it seems like they are T-shirts and hoodies are now available from CumberlandRover.com or right here on my YouTube store below this video or on the main channel page. And I'm really excited about what I think are some pretty unique designs. Each one features an authentic historic work of art depicting a small working sailboat, a general shipping scene, or a native wild creature of my local waters in the Cumberland River Valley. Right now I'm wearing my Cumberland Rover Pelican t-shirt and the Pelican is kind of the mascot of the Cumberland Rover project. So please take a look in my YouTube store or on CumberlandRover.com. <laughs> 